Hi friends, welcome back to my reading nook. In today's video, I am so excited because I have the Unplugged Book Box to unbox. That clapping in the background is my mom. She got this for me for my birthday, which is in July, but she got me the uh, three month subscription. Um, and so we're starting in May, going until July. Um, and I'm so excited. This, um, like I obviously just said, it, uh, we paid for it with our own money. My mom did. Ah. And so it wasn't sent to me. I'm not being paid to say any of this. I have no idea what's in the box. Um, but I'm really excited and I'm just going to show you guys what is in here. So without further ado. That's the drum roll. Can't take her anywhere. I don't even know if you guys can hear all that, but <laughs> she's making quite a rough. Hey. Stay easy, stay. Okay, so we have all of these crinklies. This um, month's theme was Vitality, and this is the little spoiler card that tells you everything that's in the box and which book it's um, affiliated with and all that kind of stuff. Do you want this? Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So we're going to look at that after we unbox everything. Um, no spoilers. <laughs> um, I will say that I already do know what the book is because um, I read the description on Unplugged's website and it sounded familiar and I was just like, I've seen this before. So I did some research and I did find out what the book is, but I don't know what any of the other items are. Um, but Unplugged is a self-care subscription box, and I love that. Um, I'm all about self-care, and so um, I'm really excited to see what's in here. And I'm just going to pull things out as I see them. <laughs> With sound effects, apparently. First thing. Ooh, is this a... What is it? What is you it? have the thing. What is it? Oh. oh, this might be a book pouch. Mia Corvair. Too many books, too few centuries. How true is that? Oh, 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 oh. Let's see, let's see. This is it a lunchbox? Yeah. Oh, it's a lunchbox. Never night lunchbox bag. Lunch bag. Ooh. 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 Never night. Let me see, let me see. Does it say what that's from? Never cool. It says... The lunch bag was designed by Azura Arts. It is an unplugged book box exclusive. Never cool. Inspired by Nevernight, the main character Mia must show strength on all of her journeys. This item is chosen by an hashtag unplugged unboxing winner from last year. Please note we will not include products inspired by the author in the future and are donating partial proceeds from this box. Oh, so there must be some controversy around this oh. author, but this is very cool. Cool lunchbox. I haven't read the book, but um, <laughs> I haven't read the book, but this is very cool, and I like this. Too yeah. many books, too few centuries. That's very true. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> okay. Oh, cool. Okay. The next thing. <gasps> it's is... also insulated. Yeah, I saw that. There you go. Oh, insulated, oh. she says. Um, there we go. Cool. Mother. <laughs> oh dear. Do, 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 do. This is all the behind the scenes. Okay. Nora's Miss Coffee Date Coffee Scrub. The Midnight Library Coffee Scrub. Nora's oh, tired it's of Midnight her... Library. Oh, that was... oh, I love. Ooh. <laughs> That was Daisy the My dog. dog just knocked over the camera, so um, apologies for that. But, oh, my gosh, I loved Midnight Library. Um, so this is very cool. Coffee, sugar. Yes, read me what it says. Nor is tired of a boring, disappointing life. Then she takes a trip to the library of her mind and is given a chance at a do-over from all of her regrets. One of her biggest regrets was missing a coffee date with a stranger she might have loved. It takes strength for her to make the decision on whether to choose a new life or her old life. The Midnight Library by Matt Haig inspired this exclusive scrub made by Natural Pure Honest. 
Yeah. Cool. That sounds very. Does it smell like coffee? Oh, I should smell it. That's a good idea. Ooh. Yes. Which we didn't smell. <laughs> <laughs> we have the coffee connoisseur over here. Mm -hmm. Just be careful. Really cool. So is that like a shower scrub? Coffee scrub. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Very cool. Let yeah, her smell scrub that. Scrub gently into. Yeah. Scrub I read that. Whoa. Chaos over here. Yeah. <laughs> That smells good enough to eat, but don't. <laughs> no, don't eat it. Do, 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 do. What else you got? Oh. Rose Apothecary. Unplugged exclusive. Is this from the um, the Lost Apothecary? It's Schitt's Creek Cuticle Pen. Oh, cuticle oil, yeah. It's Schitt's Creek? Huh. Yeah. Haven't seen that series. Been told that I would like it, so I may have to uh, look into that. But this is what it looks like. Very interesting. Huh. All right. Opening Rose Apothecary in Sh Apothecary in Schitt's Creek was not what David Rose thought he'd do with his life, but he quickly fell in love. The characters in this Netflix TV show grow strong and likable throughout the series. It's an unplugged exclusive. Very cool. Rather cool. And looks like that. Mm -hmm. Let me get the book. Dun, 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 dun. Do, it's do, down do. here. You like the sound of that. Oh, this is a count candle, I bet. <gasps> Soy candle. Jude St. Francis. Ooh, Ooh, this is what it looks like. I'm doing a very bad job because I'm very excited. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Jude St. Francis. Ooh. Does it smell nice? Yeah. This is called Jude from a Little Life by Hanya Hanakahara. Mm -hmm. Is one of the strongest literary characters we've ever read about. The exclusive candle smells of Jude's many baked goodies and was made familiar was made by familiar fragrances for this box. Oh, it smells Lord. really nice. It smells um, like Fun fact about candles, before I started reading, I was afraid of fire and had never lit a candle. Um, but now I have a small collection. Um, let me know down in the comments below um, where you guys like to get your candles from. I like Bath & Body Works, but they don't have a Canadian website and they haven't for a really long time. And that's really annoying, especially because we are in lockdown. So I may be looking for recommendations. That's really nice. Nice now. Nice. Yeah. Do 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 do. Stop it. Oh. This is so cool, though. I'm impressed so far. Yeah. 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 It's neat. I know what it is. Oh, oh. Well. Wellspring Naturals Mega de Detox Foot Soap. Stephen King. Oh, the long walk. I think I did a video recently where I talked about how I will never read a Stephen King book. <laughs> I'm not into horror and all of that. What book is it? The Long Walk, Stephen King. Do you, okay. So The Long Walk by Stephen King, originally originally published under a pseudonym, is a futuristic horror dystopian mm -hmm. where contestants have to go on an annual walking contest. It takes much vitality to, com to compete in this grueling contest. This exclusive detox foot soap by Wellsprings Naturals will help you relax after a long, tiring day. Hmm. I don't use foot soap, so I'm probably going to give this to you. Okay, I'm in. But, um, that's very cool. I do the book is. Because I found, I, the book's down here. Oh. Um, so yeah, I read the, there was a blurb on the website. Okay. And I was like, this sounds familiar. Um, and so I looked it up because I'm impatient. <laughs> I have no patience whatsoever. Um, exclusive enamel pin in collaboration with Alessia's World. Aless Aless Alessia? 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 That's cool. Anne of Green Gables enamel pin. Yeah. Journey back into this infamous childhood story with Anne, a character that has many convictions and strengths. This is the third pin in our collectible series by 
I mean, I will. How do you have this word? Something like that. I'm going to tick somebody off so they can't pronounce it. But at least That's right. okay. I do that all the time. Are we to the book yet? Are we at the book yet? Are we there yet? Can you oh. hear? You know, I'm making all of these faces and such, but um, I may you may not even be able to hear my mom. I'm not really sure, and I won't know until I go to upload this. So this could be a very interesting video. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh yeah, this is they do a photo challenge. Um, which is that, um, post the photos on the dates listed. If you're an international subscriber and your box arrived later, feel free to post when you're able. Use hashtag unplugged unboxing and unplugged book box and tag all involved artists and businesses. You'll select winners to receive a free box, a chance to plan a future item slash fandom and shop items. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. Um... So it says May 20th, full unboxing photo with spring colors. Post a photo of everything in this month's box, which I will be doing on my Instagram. I'll post everything. Oh, I should have done that before, but that's okay. Mm. Um, next day is post a photo of your book with some pretty flowers, florals. Um... The next day is the post a photo of your self-care items and your favorite spot for self-care. Uh, the next day is post a photo of your enamel pin with your favorite classic books. And the next day, candle and cityscape. Post a photo of your candle with cityscape theme. And then the last day is post a photo of your box and stack up and a stack of your favorite books. Very cool. Oh, there's journal prompts. On the back. That's very cool. So you can journal about the book? No, or it's just... just journal prompts for inner strength. Oh, cool. All part of vitality. Yeah, that's very cool. Neat. I like it. Um, did you smell the candle? I did. Really nice. It smells very good. Oh, this is a note from the author. That's very cool. Neat. Are you going to read it? I'll read it after I open the book, and I'm just checking. Oh, this is this, the card to let you know what next month is. Adult fiction fandom sneak peek. So next month has to do with the Song of Achilles, which I have not read yet. But mm. Destiny is the next adult fiction theme for June. Mm. And Hypnotic is the young adult. Very interesting. That's a cool bookmark. Bookmark! That would be a cool bookmark. Big for the bookmark. For a bookmark. It depends. So that's the adult and that's the young adult. Um, fandom sneak peeks. Sneak peeks? Yeah. These are all... For next month. And that's a letter from the author. And I think <laughs> we're down... Choose a book. book. Got a book plate here, which is very cool. And did I already say what the book was? No. Scissors. Nah. Scissors are for quitters. Scissors, scissors are no fun. All right, then muscle it up. Muscle. <laughs> <laughs> For grace and ease of access. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. And just so y'all know, I'm not going to do um, an unboxing back. with her every month oh. because her sound effects. Ooh, are cool. The rose code. So, ooh, sorry, my dog knocked the, the uh, <laughs> tripod again. <laughs> so, the book is The Rose Code by Kate Quinn. And if my dog will stop moving the tripod, Daisy. Daisy! Come here. What? <laughs> she just went through the tripod instead of around it, which 
I should have known she would do. So the Rose Gold by Kate Quinn, I believe this is a historical, historical, historical fiction. Um, and I'll just read you the synopsis. <clears throat> the New York Times and US, USA Today bestseller author of The Huntress and the Alice Network returns with another heart-stopping World War II story involving three female code breakers at Bletchley Park and the spy they must uncover after the war is over. So it says... 1940, as England prepares to fight the Nazis, three very different women answer the call to mysterious country estate Bletchley Park, where the best minds in Britain train to break uh, German military codes. Vivacious debutante o Osla, Osla has everything, beauty, wealth, and the dashing Prince Philip of Greece sending her roses, but she burns to prove herself as more than a society girl and puts her fluent German to use as a translator of decoded enemy secrets. Imperious self-made ma uh, Mab, a product of East End London poverty, works the legendary code-breaking machines as she conceals old boons and looks for a socially advantageous husband. Both Osla and Mab are quick to see the potential in local village spinster Beth, whose, whose shyness conceals a brilliant facility with puzzles, and soon Beth spreads her wings as one of the park's few female cryptanalysts. But war, loss, and the impossible pressure of secrecy will tear the three apart. 1947, as the royal wedding of Princess Elizabeth and Prince Philip whips post-war Britain into a fever, the three friends turned enemies are reunited by a mysterious encrypted letter, the key to which lies buried in the long ago betrayal that destroyed their friendship and left one of them confined to an asylum. An enigmatic, enigmatic traitor has emerged from the shadows of their Bletchley Park past and now Osla, Mab, and Beth must resurrect their old alliance and crack one last code together. But each petal they remove from the rose code brings danger and their true enemy closer. That sounds oh. good. Yeah, it does sound good. I haven't read um, her other books yet, but my aunt did recommend that I read um, the Alice Network. So if I like this, I will probably pick that one up. Um, but there you have it. There is my first um, unplugged book boxing unhaul. Happy birthday! <laughs> Thank you, Mom. <laughs> Unboxing haul is what I meant to say. Um, yeah, I will leave some information down below so that if you guys want to check out Unplugged, you can. Um, like I said, I'm not being paid to say any of this. Um, I really wanted a subscription box and I was jealous of all of the Book of the Month uh, subscription boxes over on Bookstagram. Uh, Book of the Month doesn't ship to Canada, so I did some investigating and found Unplugged, and like I said, I love anything that re revolves around self-care and mental health, and so I picked this, and I'm really happy with everything that I got. It's really, it was really fun, yeah, and really cool, and I can't wait for the next two months. Um, so yeah, there's my mom again. Next video, she won't be in, I promise. Um, <laughs> so rude. So rude. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video soon.